I'm playing this at the beginning of the video and I'm going to put this in when it comes up in the video but I am sure I can hear bullets being fired while Ron is dead on the ground you'll have to tell me what you think I've recorded it a few times they don't they seem to be oblivious to these bullets um, and the officer who's gone into the house is totally different to the one that's got the gun and killed him but uh, I just find it incredible I don't know tell me what you think in this little bit of footage when she comes round and I'm really sorry that that's supposed to be Ron lying there on the ground I'm pretty sure you can hear other shots being fired I'm going to play the video and then I'm going to play it louder it sounds like other bullets are being fired but Ron is dead there what happened this day listen to it I think there's a Sounded like a female. I think there's a sheriff's office. Sounded like a female. I think there's a sheriff's office. Sounded like a female. Every county sheriff's office. This is still known. Hello, everyone. I'm Lieutenant Ryan Flood, Public Information Officer at the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. This critical incident community briefing will provide you with information about an officer involved shooting that occurred on June 15th, 2024. The information in this video will give you a better understanding of what we know right now in the investigation. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office conducts comprehensive investigations relating to officer-involved shootings, and these investigations may require our team of investigators to conduct multiple interviews, review audio and video recordings, and possibly analyze forensic evidence. We have her talking. What she says is that some gunshots were fired next to her house. She didn't live right next to Ron. She lived so many gardens up. She heard and smelt the gun. She said there were six bullets, but we know that Ron was killed with 12 bullets. We've got the footage on here of the police, the police officer murdering. Um, but we have her. My boyfriend was in the backyard with the dogs and then we heard six gunshots. I came rushing out and we saw a cop car that came around the corner without his lights on. And then that's when we heard the chase. It sounded like a bunch of cop cars were chasing around the neighborhood. But it sounded so close that it sounded like it was behind our fence and you can smell the gun go off. Like I could smell it, like it was fresh. So we thought it was there and we just like kind of watched the chase. And then at that time it took less than 10 minutes and there was 10 cop cars down the street. Not only do we have her, oh yes, this is what Ron looks like. So in a second we see a different picture of Ron. I don't know if it's the same person or not. His aunt didn't think that really looked like him, but who knows. Well, what to say. But anyway, we're now going to play the other two bits of footage we've got. One, how did they get Ron talking before they've answered the phone? And the other one is, there are extra bullets being shot when Ron is dead on the ground, so the story they're giving is not real. Something is very wrong. Please, Greenville County 911, what's the location of your emergency? I think there's a... Sounded like a female. Greenville County Sheriff's Office. I think there's a sheriff's office. Sounded like a female. Every county sheriff's office. This is still known. I 
Our office does not draw any conclusions about whether the deputy's actions were consistent with our policy and in accordance with the law until the investigation has been thoroughly completed. It is important to note that while the investigation is still ongoing, our understanding and determination of the incident might change in the event new information is brought forth and new evidence is discovered. A brief disclaimer, the content you are about to see and hear may be disturbing to some viewers. When deputies are put in a position that requires them to use physical force to effect an arrest or defend themselves against an attack, the actions can be graphic and difficult to watch. Additionally, some of the language heard in this video might be viewed as strong and offensive. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. On June 15th, at approximately 7.39 p.m., the Grimba County Communications Center received a 911 call from 51 Arch Street. The caller was heard talking and making unclear comments. The caller was seemingly upset on the line and was believed to be talking to someone. Here is a playback recording of that 911 call. Please, don't let me down. Are you thinking you're doing nothing? You're getting off on it, apparently. Please. Greenville County 911, what's the location of your emergency? Please, I'm begging you, man. Do you understand what I mean? If Ron is calling in, so you're listening to him having a conversation as he's calling in, how can they record it until they pick up in that conversation with Ron? You can hear him calling and you can hear him talking before the 911 person picks up the call. So what is going on here? This is not correct. Oh my God, it's just disgusting. What is going on? What, what has happened? What is all this? There's no way you would hear Ron talking to someone, calling them up before they'd answered the phone. Please, don't let me down. Are you thinking you're doing nothing? You're getting off on it apparently, please. Greenville County 911, what's the location of your emergency? Please, I'm begging you, man. Turn my fucking mouth for your goddamn ego, motherfucker. Turn it down. Turn on. No, good. You ain't getting fair. No, I'll take you. I'm a man. I did wrong. Sir, hello. I'm getting murdered for your ego. I'm out of my bag. I ain't doing it. Right, bitch. Hello. Did you sit here and just know all of us? It ain't happening. Fuck that shit. Sir, hello? Number one, hello? Hello? Seriously, fair. Just fair. Turn the motherfucker down so he's caught, man. Fuck with burning like how to think. Hello, nine one one. Come on, man. Number one, hello. For the next several minutes, the caller continues speaking. However, it is unclear who he is talking to or what he is saying. Roughly 4 minutes and 39 seconds into the call, the caller is heard continuing to speak and shortly after, the call taker believed to have heard gunshots. Well, I'm telling you, I've had enough. There's mercy. I've had enough uncle. What are you going to say? What do you want me to say? Have you said what I know to me to me? I put a white flag out of it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Your fucking ego's all right now. It ain't. It's egotistical now. Now it's what we did. But I mean, really, I mean, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? I'm not going to sit here and just die with your ego. And that like it's okay. It ain't okay. I ain't, I'm not dying. I ain't doing it okay with it. I ain't going to be okay with it. No, no, you don't want no problems. Don't buy tickets. We get okay, you know what I mean? I never thought that's what it was worth, you know what I mean? I never thought that, you know what I mean? I never thought that. Let's work that. Sir, hello? At approximately 7.44 p.m., the first deputy arrived on location and upon approach to the residence, heard gunfire coming from inside. The deputy retreated behind cover and waited for backup to arrive. Once the backup deputy arrived, the suspect was observed exiting the house and began shooting in the direction of the home. Here is body camera footage from that deputy.
As the backup deputy approached the residence, he observed the suspect armed with a long gun. Fearing he was shooting at someone inside the home, he fired at the suspect, striking him as a result. We will now transition to this deputy's body camera. Alpha, 1031 Bravo. Suspects down. Suspects down. 1040, 1041 Alpha. No, I can't. No, no, hold it. We, we need to hold this guy. Bravo 37, I need you to get online with that 1024 and uh, see, see what we got going on here. We have a white male down. He had a rifle. He was firing into the house yelling at somebody. We have no idea if the if a victim's inside. Hey, we need to push up. We need to see if we got a victim here. Let's go. Fearing there was a potential victim inside, a contingency of deputies secured the suspect while other deputies searched the property and to no avail, as no victim or any other person was located in or on the property. I think there's a... Sounded like a female. I'm playing this at the beginning of the video and I'm going to put this in when it comes up in the video but I am sure I can hear bullets being fired while Ron is dead on the ground you'll have to tell me what you think I've recorded it a few times they don't they seem to be oblivious to these bullets um, and the officer who's gone into the house is totally different to the one that's got the gun and killed him but uh, I just find it incredible. I don't know. Tell me what you think. In this little bit of footage when she comes round, and I'm really sorry that that's supposed to be Ron lying there on the ground. I'm pretty sure you can hear other shots being fired. I'm going to play the video and then I'm going to play it louder. It sounds like other bullets are being fired. But Ron is dead there. What happened this day? Listen to it. I think there's a... Sounded like a female. I think there's a... Sounded like a female. I think there's a f sounded like a female. Every 
Following the shooting, in standard with the Greenwood County Sheriff's Office protocol, agents from the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division were requested to respond to the scene to investigate the shooting. The suspect, identified as 55-year-old Ronald Dean Hillier, was pronounced deceased on scene. His loaded semi-automatic rifle was collected by sled agents and seized as evidence. Hello, I'm Sheriff Hobart Lewis. Consistent with any officer-involved shooting, agents from the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division were requested to conduct an investigation and along with the 13th Circuit Solicitor's Office will continue their investigation to determine if the deputy's actions complied with the law. In a parallel investigation, the GCSO Office of Professional Standards conducted an internal review to determine if the deputy's actions were consistent with the strict standards outlined in our agency's use of force policy. After their investigation, the Office of Professional Standards determined the sole deputy who fired their weapon was justified to use deadly force according to the Sheriff's Office use of force policy. If you would like further information on our use of force policy, please visit our website at gcso.org, click on the General Orders link found under the Resource tab. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical instant community briefing. We have her talking. What she says is that some gunshots were fired next to her house. She didn't live right next to Ron. She lived so many gardens up. She heard and smelt the gun. She said there were six bullets, but we know that Ron was killed with 12 bullets. We've got the footage on here of the police, the police officer murdering. Um, but we have her. My boyfriend was in the backyard with the dogs and then we heard six gunshots. I came rushing out and we saw a cop car that came around the corner without his lights on. And then that's when we heard the chase. It sounded like a bunch of cop cars were chasing around the neighborhood. But it sounded so close that it sounded like it was behind our fence and you can smell the gun go off. Like I could smell it, like it was fresh. So we thought it was there and we just like, kind of watched the chase and then at that time it took less than 10 minutes and there was 10 cop cars down the street. Not only do we have her, oh yes this is what Ron looks like. So in a second we see a different picture of Ron. I don't know if it's the same person or not. His aunt didn't think that really looked like him but who knows. Well what to say. But anyway we're now going to play the other two bits of footage we've got. One how did they get Ron talking before they've answered the phone? And the other one is, there are extra bullets being shot when Ron is dead on the ground, so the story they're giving is not real. Something is very wrong. Green, don't make sound. I can see you doing nothing. You need to get off on it, apparently. Green! Greenville County 911, what's the location of your emergency? Green, dude, I'm dead. I think there's a... Sounded like a female. I think there's a f Sounded like a female. Every county sheriff's office. This is still known. 